I'm telling you, it's been a long time. I've waited for four and a half years to be able to show you this truck. And I know you guys have waited at least nine months since we introduced it at NIAS. And I've got a team of engineers here, 20 of them or so, that are going to help you go through this, all the technologies and everything else. Uh, and you're going to see it tonight, you're going to drive it tonight, and you're going to, you're going to experience what we've been talking about. So I'll be short on the words and long on the demonstration. It is about weight savings. Weight savings for a truck makes a lot of sense. It's a big vehicle. When you weight save for a car, you get better steering, better braking, uh, better agility, better handling, all of that comes. It's certainly better fuel efficiency. But you, when you weight save for a, a, a vehicle like a truck, which is a tool, you can also reinvest that weight saving back into doing more work. So uh, a truck naturally benefits from weight saving more than any other vehicle. So that's why we did it here. And again, as Matt mentioned, this is a segment buster. As Doug mentioned, every customer gets it. Whether you buy the XL and the base engine or all the way up to the Platinum and our 3.5 EcoBoost, every customer benefits from weight saving. Every customer gets more capability. Let me give you a quick example here. If you look at the slides behind me, I've got, let's two trucks that have a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000 pounds. That's the total weight of the vehicle, its passengers, and all of its cargo. That's what it's rated for. If the base curb weight uh, in a steel truck weighs 5,500 pounds, all you have left for payload and passengers is 1,500 pounds, a very typical steel truck number. If you convert the truck to high strength steel frame, uh, high strength aluminum alloys, and you take the weight of that truck down to 5,000 pounds, you've got 2,000 pounds left. And to, to bring this to light, let me show you guys a demonstration. Okay, uh, let's look at this slide. Before I bring out two trucks to come on the scale, um, I've got over here 15 F-Series and uh, a typical steel truck, it happens to be a Dodge, uh, a Ram over here. You'll see that this one is 7,000 7, pounds Gower, our F-Series, uh, the Ram is 6,900 pound Gower. The green, up to the green line, is what the truck weighs empty. And so the Dodge, you see, is, comes in around 5750. Uh, RF series comes in maybe 5150. The yellow is the band of payload and passenger you can put in that vehicle before you get the red line. The red line, of course, represents the Gower limit, or the, I'm sorry, the GVW limit. So I'm gonna ask these guys, pull these trucks on stage, and let's see what happens. We'll see a black needle and it'll tell us uh, how, much, uh, how much weight they've got. These trucks are similarly equipped. They're four by fours, uh, crew cabs, short boxes. Here we go. Oh, I think the, the Ford wins tonight. And they both have 1,200 pounds in the bed. So we've, we've brought up two uh, similarly equipped trucks with 1,200 pounds in the bed. The first thing you notice over here on the F-Series is you've got, oh, I don't know, about another 700 pounds that you can put in this truck. 700 pounds represents four people. A four-man crew and 1,200 pounds. That's doing the work. Ram over here, I'm not picking on Ram. Ram looks like it's already overloaded and it demonstrates it here. There's not a driver in and you're already over its uh, GVW. The Ram just represents a steel truck. This is how light weighting allows you to do more work. So thank you guys, thanks for that demonstration. There's one other concept that we're gonna start talking about, which is power to weight. When you take weight out, all your engines uh, you know, can move the vehicle quicker. It's just like an athlete. When, you, when an athlete loses weight, or you and I lose weight, we walk uh, upstairs better, we can turn quicker, we're more nimble. This is the simple concept. For years, we've lived in the power world. I was there, I was chief engineer for Super Duty for years and years. And when you chase power, bigger engines, bigger horsepower, quickly you need a bigger transmission, then you need a bigger drive line, then you need bigger rear axles, and weight begets weight. This is a game changer. When you take the weight out, uh, we start talking about power to weight ratio, and it doesn't matter what powertrain we have. We have improved power to weight ratio five to 16%. And that 5% represents our base engine, which was a 3.7, and we've now downsized it through a 3.5 and its horsepower and torque numbers are actually lower. 
but its power to weight ratio is higher. And the proof is that we can now put it in crew cab 4x4s, which fleet customers love. So power to weight ratio is the new game.